Hello everyone, greetings to one and all. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about table maintenance generator events. How can we create an event during data maintenance? And the coding part, I'm going to deal with a very elemental concept. However, I'll be explaining in detail about the events. So let's directly jump in. So as you know, TMG events or in other words called as a table maintenance generator events assists us in multiple ways for data maintenance. So you will see the hands-on experience uh, soon. In case if you are not aware of TMG concepts, uh, I would request you to go through my previous videos where I have discussed in detail about the table creations and table maintenance generator events, the corresponding significance of maintaining the edit option in the edit tab which is the second step of a table creation and how it reflects on the TMG events. I would have given a detailed explanation about TMG in my previous videos. Please go through that and I request you to come back here to see further. There are around 39 table maintenance generator events that are present, although we will not be using all of them, but some of them would be really useful for us. Each event has its significance on the table maintenance generator. Now, I'll quickly take you through a system demo without wasting any time further. So as part of this demo, I'll be adding two new fields so that I can explain about the TMG event a bit more clearer. And I will also add an event which is used for, which is which gets triggered while creating a new entry. So I'll be using the same table just like how I've been using uh, in the previous videos. So for creating an event, all you have to do is get into the table reach out to the table maintenance generator and ensure the table maintenance generator is generated because if you you have not generated table maintenance generator you will not be able to reach the events part you will not have this option at all you will not have access to table maintenance generator events without creating an actual table maintenance generator okay so now i'm going into the table maintenance generator and events so this is where we will be adding our events before that to explicitly display the usage of this TMG events I will add two fields here called Z dots which is going to store my date value and Z times which is going to store my time value okay so this is just to ensure uh, now what i'm going to do is like whenever i enter a new entry whenever I create a new entry i'm not going to fill values for these two fields okay and you could see using tmg events these fields gets the value automatically okay now i'll just activate this and whenever you create a new fields to a table it's always advice to delete your existing TMG whatever you have in place and recreate it again now since I have deleted if I go and check the environment you see I don't even have a modification option here which means that I don't even access to TMG events okay so I'll just go ahead and I'll create this table maintenance generator again just to ensure the newly added fields are part of this table maintenance part once it's created now I'll go ahead and you can find the modification option and then you can reach out to events okay so here now i'm going to add a new entry which means i'm going to add an event so to decide on which event i can press the f4 option here so these are all the different events available each event supports the request i mean the respective operations like if you see if you choose 01 it means before saving the data in the database if you do zero if you choose 02 after saving the data in the database similarly there are so many options each has its own business scenarios we are going to use 5 here which is 0, 05 while creating a new entry so i'll simply create a routine directly called as date underscore time underscore entry so this you can give any name just to ensure i mean to make our operations more relevant i have given similar name in the routine here now you have to follow me very carefully here the same routine name whatever you have given here you need to ensure the same routine is part is the same routine is maintained inside as well so when you create a subroutine it will ask for 
under which include you need to place the subroutine um, you can choose any new include or you can choose the existing include as well in my case i'm choosing a new include and i'm continuing the tricky part here is even though you have chosen an include for your routine the routine doesn't comes by default you have to maintain it carefully with the same name okay so i have mentioned the same name here and i'm mentioning the syntax for maintaining a routine form and end form date underscore time underscore entry and form and end form so here to populate those two fields the actual requirement here is we are going to populate those two newly added fields like whenever a new entry is created the date and time has to be defaulted with the current system date and system time okay so for adding those two fields you cannot refer the field directly you have to mention the table name followed by the fields similarly you have to mention the table name followed by the time field so how are you going to populate yes i'm going to use the system field si, si under, uh, uh, hyphen dat, datum which is going to store your date value and si underscore timlo which is going to which is going to show, store your time value now yeah i have made a small mistake here it has to be hyphen so that it refers to the field now let me try to activate it i'll activate both because that's the include and this this is the routine yes it got activated just i'm double checking again if date underscore time underscore entry form is similar to date underscore time underscore entry yes it is similar so i have written the appropriate code to occupy uh, the current system date and time to the new fields that i have created okay let me save it now i have created the table maintenance generator event using the table maintenance generator now all i have to do is let me go to sm30 and try to maintain a new entry okay so this is the new this is sm30 is the place where you go and maintain entries uh, definitely all the previous entries will not have any data there for the date and time field because they were created before this tmg event and these entries were created when the these two fields were not even there in the database so they will not hold any values and there is also an interesting concept when this happens something called as null and space i will discuss about these two concepts in my subsequent videos so for now let's concentrate on creating a new entry so our new entry will sound like 1357 and it is going to be tmg event will be the first name tmg uh date i'll give it as a last last name department let me choose a department say engineering again and fees i'll choose as 1100 now if you see here i have not chose any value for date and time okay now as soon as i press enter you could see the date and time automatically getting populated so this value of date and time is coming through our tmg event and this is how our tmg event helps us in maintaining the data so let me save this okay i have saved this let me come back i will check if this value is getting reflected correctly in the table as well i can use sc16n or data browser as well let me execute it if you see here this is the value that i have recently maintained and you could see the date and time values are getting populated correctly so the tmg events helps us in assisting the data maintenance part so this is the prime significance of having a tmg event and uh, just date and time here has given us an example there are also other fields where you, wherein you can have logics you can have customization tables we can configuration you can have configuration tables and you can populate values accordingly you can also have complex logics written inside but as of now just for your understanding i made a simple logic wherein you are populating the system date and time so with this i hope the tmg event practical applications would be clear to you on a basic level so there are also some key concepts of table coming up in my next subsequent videos. Do follow my channel and follow this series for updates. Thank you so much for your time. Peace and blessings to you all.